guys, welcome back to Stash Smash Saturday. I'm sorry this is going up late. I thought about doing it live, but I did my product focus live because that was really late. It was a whole day late. Um, so I've got what I still have left of my um, Sunkissed collection. I'm also going to do this for a challenge for the Paper Issues Spa Day crop this weekend. So I've got some photos of my son. He put my headband on. Look how cute he is. Look at how cute and quiet he is in these photos. He's so quiet and cute. He's so cute. <laughs> He's staring at me right now. <laughs> but look at how cute. Look at that. So um, these are just photos from, he was just a little over one and he put my headband on and he puts it on like a sweatband. So I thought about doing the title Sweat It Out um, and I'm going to kind of do a two page uh, layout because I really liked a sketch. Uh, let's see, I'll show you which sketch. Let me get it pulled up. I really liked a sketch that Paper Issues had from uh, January when they did a bunch of sketches this one. Um, so the big banner, love that. So I'm going to do a big banner with this beautiful floral paper, but I also want to frame it. And then, but I, and you know, I wanted, I have more than just one photo. So I'm going to do a second page. So my stash mash items are going to be spread across two pages. Technically. Um, I think I'm going to, well, see, I've got florals here. No, I want to use the stars. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to use a cup file or not. <laughs> um, but I for sure want to use this sketch for uh, want the one of the layout or one of the pages. So it, to be determined if I actually do a two page today on this channel or like in this video or not. Um, but I definitely want to use this sketch. If you can see it, I'll have it up in the corner as well. Um, and so I was going to do... I think this one, <laughs> this photo for the main photo. And then I was going to put these three on a second page with a cut file was what my thought was. So I still could do that. I just hadn't decided which cut file yet. So we'll see how this first page goes and we'll see, you know, if I decide to do that. So I'm going to gut this paper and then mat a white cardstock on it. And then we're going to cut a banner out of this paper so that this can go on there. Cause look at this red orange color matches my shirt, the green, and he's got like a black or dark blue. So it works out really, really well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Got, cut this into a banner, maybe frame it with another color. Haven't decided that yet. And then I will have another page. Um, I'll get it kind of started and you guys can kind of see that. So I'll be right back. All right, so actually doing this second page is working out really well. I played around with the cut files that I had grabbed, wasn't liking it. Forgot I had this one by Paige Evans. It's just, it's basically just like a starburst like hoop. So it's just a circle. So I layered that behind on some um, white cardstock, inked the edges and just layered these three other photos up. I had still had a chipboard frame left over from pink, uh, my product focus Friday, as well as I cut this out of the cut apart. Um, made a banner of the leftover so that the banner thing kind of ties, matted these on the star paper, and then did kind of a sloppy mat on the outside with this paper. So that's the second page. So it, it they're like coordinate, but they don't match match. Inked all this stuff up as well. So I've got the ink and the chipboard and the cut file part of my um, seven items I need to use done. So then I just need to find, um, I'm probably gonna, not going to do a doily on this one. I maybe could, I'm trying to think, like, mm, I don't know if I need to because it's more like, it's more like harsh, not frilly stuff. So I don't think I will. I have this freshly squeezed uh, chipboard as well, as well as this uh, lemonade glass yet that I could use um, right here together because it would, it would work. <laughs> Uh, I left this mat a little bit bigger just to kind of emulate the frame um, thing. So we're going to do that so far. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm trying to decide if I want to tuck some of these suckers in. Um, maybe the Chevron Arrow ones. We'll put some places because I could put those actually right on the photo like so.
just to add something that's gonna go there yet but I'm really liking the way this is going um, yeah um, I don't know if I'll use these I don't know if I'll use any more clear stickers I don't really know if I'm gonna use any more paper either. That's what else I was trying to figure out. Here's all my embellishments. I gotta bring in gems yet and um, I don't know if I wanna outline that in a dark, another color. Maybe it might be kind of fun to put this then with the pink on the outside, just to do another layer and then that'll all be inked. Yeah, that might be fun. I think we'll do that. Um, let's see. Or maybe we should just do this blue because I have a lot of this blue. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll do that bright blue. So yeah, I have a lot of six by eight papers and scraps left, so I'll keep them all together still. There's still plenty of layouts I probably can get with it, but technically I don't need to for our thing. Uh, so I just need to figure out some letter stickers for my title, uh, which I might just do black, um, gems and washi. Let's see, washi. I have a lot of skinny washi. Ooh, let's bring in some bright green and some black maybe. Black and white polka dot. Oh, actually, do I have a skinny black? Because I can rip the black and white polka dot. Because the sketch had kind of like stitching, so I can do that up there. We can add that over here too. like these crazy iridescent ones. So that will be the second page, which is awesome, which I love. It's so cute. Um, so let's set that aside and we'll work more on this one. I like that idea. Let me get this taped really quick. this one too. Okay. So let's map this really quick. Ooh, and then we're gonna ink the edges of this quick first. And then yeah, as long as I get my title on, then I've got six of the seven things used. So that's not bad. I definitely didn't use as much washi this month as I probably should have. Uh, Rebecca and I have already exchanged our seven items for next month. So stay tuned for that coming up. Uh, whole new month, whole new month of 
our lovely stash smash i'm really liking this because i am using up some things like some collections i'm com killing completely which is the whole purpose this one like just there's so much six by eight left but technically six by eight i could just put in my stash um and big scraps so really i have i have a lot of this left but according to our uh rules it is smashed but i do have enough left that i'll keep it together i'll keep playing with it i have so many embellishments too uh with it that uh, yeah i'll keep i'll keep using it uh especially because next month she's got me oh i stuck my washi in there <laughs> uh so especially since next month uh rebecca has me using puffies and there's tons of puffies in here so uh, we might use more of this randomly in things Ooh. i'm just glad i saw that cut file and used that one instead i think that worked out perfectly instead of what i was going for because then i've got a little bit of stars in here but not um they're not making like a huge statement which is kind of opposite of the floral so it didn't really make sense but I didn't know what else to do. I was kind of baffled. So I'm going to get this down. I will get the washi on this side kind of like um, the other side. I don't know if we're going to need to use many embellishments. I'm going to put this freshly squeezed um, over here. I'll put this on foam a little. Oops, that's right. This has a peel back. <laughs> we'll get this down. I'll get my title on. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll see what um, other embellishments I can find. So I'll be back. All right, you guys, there you have it. I just added what? a little bit of journaling down here in the corner and did my little X's of my washi tape. Just did sweat it out right there. <laughs> And I think this turned out pretty cute. <laughs> and I used, uh, did I say I used six of the seven? I did. So that's pretty good too. And I have a two page spread, which is even better. So um, yeah, we did it. So that is good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize this is up late, but I appreciate all of you for tuning in and we'll see you next time.